The sculpture Pinnacle is a preview of a new system designed for Casal Grande Padana. The installation focuses on the relation between curving surface, three-dimensional shape, and space, which role is played by the selected material that is ceramic. And uh, what technological potential do you ever recognize uh, in it? Well, I think Casa Grande uh, has created a fantastic technology using an ancient material, ceramic, but in a really 21st century way, and to give it a sense of uh, characteristics which are new, which are reflectivity, which are the tactile quality, which are the sheen and the three-dimensionality itself. So I think it is, a, to me, a fantastic potential as a building material for not just small-scale things, but like the pinnacle to large-scale architectural works. But pinnacle interprets concepts as verticality, as uh, you say, perception and light reflection. What effects did, do you aim to have on your observers? And uh, what was the inspiration for the work of art? Well, the inspiration is really everywhere. It's, it's about light, it's about water, it's about desire, it's about reflection, it's about the sky, it's about the horizon. Uh, but I think uh, when you look at, at the surface, you can, uh, you can see that history, really, of construction. And you can also see modern geometries, fractal geometries, and, uh, and, and completely new sense of creating complexity with very, very simple forms. I think that really creates really a pinnacle of a new sense of moving forward with materials. And what about the dialogue with the Italian production uh, represented by the client that is the well-known Italian manufacturer Casal Grande Padana? Well, working with Casal Grande Padana is a fantastic thing because it, this company has great knowledge, great expertise, but also is interested in the research and development of these uh, classical materials into a new sustainable and ecological materiality. So the self-cleaning properties, the properties of uh, sustainable uh, building are part of uh, developing really a new sense of what the ceramic material can do for our community. Yeah, because uh, these labs are also uh, the property of uh, cleaning. Self-cleaning, yeah, the self-cleaning. So pollution in the air is coming through the tile. So the tile is not any longer the old tile, but really a new characteristic that really helps the cities survive in a way that is elegant and beautiful. Oh, so the new quality of light reflection adds to sustainability. Exactly, and you can really see it. You can see that this is not a repeat of something, but really a very new sense of space, sense of light. Well, I know that in Italy you have realized also uh, city life in Milan also choosing ceramics as building material. How does ceramic integrate Milanese urban uh, culture and your sign, your style in architecture? Well, first of all, ceramics is a very human material that has a human scale of tactility. It's not just like a raw concrete or metal. or It's not an abstract material. It's a material that comes from the earth and it has a certain quality of generosity in terms of generating an aura of the space. So I think it's a very much material that is uh, both traditional and new and avant-garde. And Milan really represents both of those poles. It's an ancient city with incredible traditions. It will sell. And at the same time, of course, it's one of the most progressive, interesting avant-garde cities in the world. So yes, it's the right material for it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you think a culture, Italian culture has an influence on your... Oh, well, it, I think there is no good architect. There is not possible to be a good architect or good designer without it playing a fundamental and central role. Because where did design originate? Where did ideas of design come from? It came from, from, from here over many, many centuries and many millennia. And I think it's not by coincidence that Italy has always been a cultural sort of gravity of, 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 of design. Thank you, Mr. Thank Lewinsky. You. Thank you. Pleasure. Next time in Italy. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.